So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to a 36th basic JavaScript video in which we're going to take a look at set interval and set timeout. So set timeout basically allows you to delay the execution of a particular piece of code. So for example, let's say you want this line to change from my name is Mehul to something else in two seconds. So what you're going to do is write console.log let's say program starts I'm gonna write console.log program ends and in between here I'm gonna write set timeout with then um, fat arrow notation the functions we talked about and I'm gonna say this as document get element by ID name dot in a text and uh, let's say something right and obviously we can just give these semicolons and just leave it and what happens here is see you can see that we have id h1 id name so we are good there and if i add a two second delay here you see the first argument is a function which is the function which basically executes after the duration specified Right, so if I hit save in on this, you see we get program starts, program ends, and then after two seconds it changes to something. Right, and then nothing happens. So set timeout runs exactly after the duration specified and then stops. However, if you have set interval here, and let's say we have let i is zero, and I say the inner text of this is basically not something but plus plus i instead and hit save so what we're going to see is after two seconds you see this counter increments every two seconds right so set interval keeps this code block of code executing after every whatever duration you specify here so if i drop it to like 100 milliseconds you're going to see that our counter updates every 100 milliseconds right However, if you just have set timeout, you're going to see that it just updates once and then it stops. The set timeout is for actions which you want to delay in the future and want to execute it only once. Whereas set interval is for repeating this particular piece of code every x seconds, where x is specified as the second argument. Right? So that is all for set timeout and set interval. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at how to basically clear them and manage them as well. That's all for this one and I'll see you then in the next video.